Good afternoon, everyone. I am Ryan Clifton Bowling. I want to talk about the importance of alternative news sources. Now, I know there's a lot of negativity on both sides, the mainstream news sources and alternative news sources. There are myriads of alternative news sources that are not good, that are not proper, that are not factual, that are and actually are very sensationalistic. I understand that. And I in no way would want to promote anyone to attach themselves to any alternative news source that's not factual. But alternative news sources are some of the best sources where you can get news and information that gives the other side of the story. In the early history of America, in the early 1900s, from the early 1900s, I'm at the, I'd say from the 30s all the way to perhaps the, I'd say 70s, I go as far as even to say the 80s. There were more mainstream news outlets, there were more variety. You had a variety of mainstream news outlets. Of course, you didn't have that many alternative news sources because there was no internet services. You didn't have any of that. But there was a multiplicity of different uh, uh, news sources that you could choose from. And they gave different worldviews. And this gave the general viewing public options about what they could watch. And it gave them more of a, an ability to decipher fact from fiction. And this was very helpful to a lot of Americans at the time. But when business, corporations began to consolidate their power, it got to the point where now, according to one source, states that the news sources are owned by only six major corporations or, or rather six major corporations owns all the news sources and with only six major corporations owning and controlling all the news sources they basically own and control the narrative that you and i hear every day when we watch the mainstream news uh, uh, tv shows cnn msnbc cbs and all the others and unfortunately most of them are left-leaning, are liberal, or are liberal, or support more of the Democratic Party. And I'm not. A, now, listen. Let me say something really that, that I want. I want people to understand. I am not against people, the general people, or the normies, as my boy Anthony Brown Logan say. And I don't mind. Bar I know he don't mind me borrowing his words. I don't. I'm not talking about the normies, the normal people that get up. And, and work a nine to five job and, and they get off from work and they come home to eat and take care of the kids if they have kids and if they got a husband or wife take care of, I'm not talking about that. Okay. These people are for the most part are not really engaged in politics. So I'm not really uh, uh, talking about the normies who are Democrats. The ones that I'm against are the many of the politicians at this point who are Democrats that I tend to have a negative perspective of. Not all of them, not all of the Democratic politicians, but a vast majority of the Democratic politicians tend to have, in my view, negative worldviews or worldviews rather that are not conducive to the betterment of America. I believe that these worldviews that they hold or these policies that these what would be called far leftist Democrats or far leftist radicals, OK, are detrimental to America. I'm, I disagree with big government. I'm in agreement with government, but I disagree with big government. I disagree with overreaching government, regardless of what particular side. OK, Bush, President Bush was, as far as I'm concerned, a, a uh, rhino, a Republican in name only, because he had a lot of socialistic policies that I disagree with. Now, back at the time, I didn't really pay much attention to it because I wasn't into politics. But now that I'm into politics and now that I study and research more, I found out, man, he was a socialist in disguise. And so my point simply is this. I get on the politicians that push these these draconian measures. It's these individuals, whether they be on the left or the right, that I disagree with. Mostly it's on the left at this point in time, mostly on the left. And because of that. It is important that viewers or people 
take that, open up their minds, basically, and take that open mindedness and start watching and listening to a lot of alternative news sources. It's important because it gives you different options. And without these different options, it's very difficult. Not, not only very difficult, but extremely difficult to make proper choices. So it's important that viewers take a chance and watch and listen to some of these mainstream media outlets. My own, Ryan Clifton Bowling, if I change the name, it used to be RCB News, but changed it to Ryan Bowling. Uh, Ryan Clifton Bowling, rather. Um, ABL, Anthony Brown Logan, Jericho Green, Larry Elder, and others that are very helpful in helping you to see the other side. So I think it's very important that we not allow mainstream media reporters and journalists to spin this negativity towards alternative news sources because the, part of the reason why they do that is because they themselves are failing. They're failing and they don't want people to hear the other side as far as I'm concerned. So it's every now and then it's good to, to, to stretch out, to stretch outside the box and, and take the time to view some of these alternative news sources and you have better options so that you can say for yourself, you know what, this doesn't sound right right here. This sounds more plausible. I'll go with this route here. You can't make a decision if you don't have any, any, any elements to make a decision on. You can't make choices if you don't have any elements to make a choice on. If you only have one choice, then that's not a choice, okay? <laughs> Choice is being able to choose between alternatives. And if you're not able, you can't choose between alternatives if you never watch anything that's alternative. So I just wanted to give that, that spin on alternative news sources. What do you guys think about alternative news sources? Just leave your comments in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, share this video, and subscribe. God bless you all and see you again.